Hello and welcome to another Factorio video. Today we're going to talk about Steam Engine and uh, optimal setups. Uh, last time I did this was in version 0.13 and some things have changed since uh, 0.15. So um, we now have new ratios and new builds and if you only came here to watch uh, to, to learn the exact perfect ratio it is 1, 20, 40. Uh, and now with that out of the way, uh, let's uh, get into this, uh, all these builds and how I tried them and uh, how they might look. So just to be clear how I've done this, this is my backbone network, so to say. It has some inserters, mining drills and a few steam engines, the ones you see here. Basically what this network is doing is that we're collecting coal and we're sending it throughout the different test sites. And in, the most, in most of them we are powering the inserters to the boilers. Um, and then I have the steam engines connected to a dedicated subnet which only is used for testing. So for example all this, this part and this part is not connected. This one is connected up here when, well, when I want to, like this. Um, Alright, so that's the general testing and I'm using radars to test the power consumption and um, because they use a constant power drain not like an inserter or a factory uh, because they will build stuff and consume power in in bursts uh, if you can we can take a look here example for, uh, as an example this is a m minimal network with only one inserter and a solar panel so now if we change this uh, you can see to the right, drain 400 watts and consumption 13 kilowatts. But the consumption isn't really that stable and... Let's see, are we done soon? Yeah, 14. It goes in bursts up to, I guess, this is, yes, 13 up here. And then something lower, like 6 kilowatts and then 400 watts down here as a constant drain. But radars, they have a constant 300 kilowatt consumption when they are running. So early game, um, your setup might look something like this. Your pump, it can pump up 1200 units of water per second. Uh, all right, and then we we'll convert that to steam in a boiler. So each boiler can handle two steam engines. If you put a third steam engine up here, uh, you will lose uh, efficiency because the boiler can't keep up. Perhaps you can use two boilers and have three, like five engines. I don't know exactly, but it it's really quickly starts to get messy and there is no reason for that. So just use two engines per boiler. And uh, the boiler will con convert the water into steam. You can see the temperature goes from, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's 15 degrees up to 170, 165. And it's a one to one ratio, so 25 k's of water. Uh, if we take a look at it like this. 25k units of water will be 25k units of steam. I had 24.9 here. If it's a real loss or if it's something that's hidden inside the boiler, a rounding problem, I don't know. But we had 25, so basically one to one. And that makes it very it makes it very easy to do the calculation because the steam engine clearly states that it can consume 30 units per second and then we just divided 1200 with 30 and that gives us 40 so 40 steam engines to one pump 
and we need one boiler per two steam engines. So the, the math is actually really simple. Up here, I'm using a small electric poles. You will need pipes. And from what I can see, the pipes will not really um, affect the total uh, usage or consumption. Let's see if we can hook this up like this. All right, so here we have in this network, we have 20 engines. I could have used 20 more, but the math is the same. And we have 60 radars, so they it should be 18 megawatts perfectly aligned and synchronized. Uh, all of these are running at maximum performance. And from what I can see, still we get a yellow here. If I remove one, we're back to green and then usually when I place this back, we're still in the green. Now it says 18 megawatts. So I don't know what's up with these uh, rounding numbers, but th this is a very basic setup in your early game, I guess. Personally, I like to have a dedicated backbone system to only run the inserters, uh, run coals and stuff because then I know that they will always work and what, what I hook up, hook up after the steam engines is kind of separate and it has a lower priority. So now this is running perfectly aligned. Here I have the very, very same setup. Uh, I'm using substations here. They are large and they can, with two of them, I can cover all these engines. Still, same thing with the inserters, they are part of this network. Much more compact, and this is the setup I will use for the rest of the video. Um, right, so if we hook that up, it should... I have, want to have it separated. Yeah, like that. It also says 80 megawatts. I, earlier I tried the setup with... Um, with more space because in this one you can't really run through you have to go around it here is the same deal because you can't pass the pipe then you need to use these um, uh, what they're called the pipe to ground and then I experienced some uh, production loss or some uh, performance loss I, I don't know if it's it was temporary a real problem but at least you can walk in anywhere you want. Here you're kind of stuck on one side. So these are the, yeah, the two designs I've worked with so far. So I can actually, I don't want to use too much coal so I can demonstrate the other ones as well. So let's close these. Here I have a full, fully, uh, <laughs> a fully expanded system if you will with one pump to 40 engines. I'm using a very simple setup where I have one per and there's nothing strange and everything is very logical. And I have the substations down here and then to this testing area. So now if we just hook this up over here, then you can see we immediately jumped up. And we're not there yet and um, let's see if we can make it up to 36 yeah what I have noticed is that if we have are completely empty on steam now you can see I'm now slowly building them up okay six seven and now these are slowly filling I couldn't really get up to full power but now if I place these back when we have a buffer here then usually it stays very stable. 16 seems like it's, it's going down, but now we're at 36. At least it was very stable before. Yeah, they should be stable, all of them. So this is a maximized system, one pump, 40 engines, 
and here I have all the 60 or no, 120 radars to match the output power output from this one. And then you can always play around. I think that's always fun. It's actually going down. I have some problem or something. I don't know. It should be correct. It was before. <laughs> and actually we can do this and we can check back later and see if it still works. Move that one. And then these can build up, maximize the steam. We have power and everything. No, it bugs me. It should be perfect right now. Okay, see, 35, 40, 36, 35.7. Point eight should be 36 there and these things makes it really tricky to do a perfect investigation but I guess it's just a rounding problem so up here I played with how it can look if you have all the inserters um, in the same network as the uh, as the engines and if we play the substation on the lower side then we can reach all the way up here and then we can have long-handed ones all the way and have, still have a very simple setup. Also maxed out with 40 engines, and but here I don't have any radars, so I'm just powering these inserters. But since we have one uh, transport belt down here, uh, of course we can have one below as well, and then it might look something like this. This is based on the simple design where we have inserters in both directions. And this will consume a lot of coal. I'm not kidding. Let's hook these up. 80 steam engines, 240 radars. They should be at 72 megawatts and we still have the... See, we're at yellow again. But here we we'll get some serious coal usage. <laughs> Fun to see. But it's not as compact as uh, this one since we have everything tightly packed. Yep, 72 which should be... And these are running at full speed. So I, actually I think we are running at full speed and we have no performance issues whatsoever. Now if you want to make them as compact as possible. This is as far as I've come. And we have the substations in the middle. And here we have a normal inserter from the transport belt up here. And then a long handed from this boiler down to this boiler. And then substations and then we have underground transport belts. Which makes this extremely compact. There is almost no space, only one tile for, and it's not even one tile per uh, per boiler. So very, very tightly packed. The water needs to be, needs to come up, so you need at least one tile on the side. And the transport belt, of course. So it's always fun to do these calculations. Uh, now there's not much of calculating to, calculations to do, but uh, nevertheless, we still need to make an optimized system because I think it's just that fun. And you can see this is running perfectly stable now, maximized on steam. Yep, so I think they're running as they should. All right, I think there, that's enough talk about steam engines and boilers. 12040 is the magic number, at least in this version of Factorio. And this is my most optimized setup so far. Perhaps you have a better one. Feel free to share it in that case. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.